Welcome to Info Brothers with Amir. In this video, we are going to answer this question. What is OPT duration for STEM and non-STEM degrees? So first of all, what is the OPT? OPT stands for Optional Practical Training. That is the type of permission you get from a US government to work in USA while you are a student here or you are done with your studies. So to get the OPT, you have to apply for the OPT and then it can be approved while you are a student. That's called a pre-completion OPT. So let me write it there, pre-completion. And if you're done with the studies, uh, you can apply for post-completion uh, OPT. There are some limitations uh, with the pre-completion uh, 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 OPT that uh, you will be able to work uh, for 20 hours per week. Uh, and uh, and uh, with the post, uh, you will be able to work with 40 hours per week. Uh, so. Pre-completion OPT is okay when uh, you are a student, you are working on your studies and you get some internship. Uh, but I recommend uh, using the CPT instead of OPT uh, while you are studying uh, because the CPT can be also nine months. Uh, so why to waste that pre-completion uh, OPT time uh, in, when you get the OCPT, you can still make the money, you can still work with the employers. Uh, and uh, then once you are done, uh, you try to get the post-completion OPT. In any case, uh, if uh, the duration of your uh, uh, OPT depends upon uh, your degree, so let's say you are doing STEM degree or you are doing non-STEM degree. So STEM stands for Science, Technology, Engineering and Math. If you are working on your uh, biology, computers, physics, uh, or chemistry degrees, uh, you will be included in STEM. If you, you are working on arts uh, such as fashion and some uh, history degrees, uh, you will be included in non-STEM degrees. Uh, so. For STEM, you will get uh, 12 months uh, in the starting uh, once you apply for your OPT and then you have an extension uh, of 24 months. Uh, before uh, it was 17 months, uh, but uh, uh, from 2016 it is a 24 months uh, extension. But with the non-STEM, uh, you will always get uh, 12 months uh, of your uh, OPT. So that's uh, where you need to make uh, very precise decisions. Uh, you don't want to wa waste this uh, time, uh, let's say, uh, non, if you are doing non-STEM degree and you don't want to waste 12 months uh, on a pre-completion uh, while you are studying only for 20 hours. Uh, you want to use this time uh, maybe as a CPT while you are studying, don't apply for uh, pre-completion OPT and then apply once you are done with the study so you can convert uh, your uh, F1 visa to H1B and uh, your employer will do that uh, for you. Now. There are certain rules uh, with uh, these uh, STEM and non-STEM degrees uh, uh, OPTs. Uh, so let's say if you are uh, done with your uh, um, studies, you apply for your OPT, you got the OPT in 90 days. Uh, so you have to have find a job in 90 days. Uh, and uh, you can't really go ahead, let's say if I'm in computer science uh, and uh, I don't, I'm, I want to find a job, if I can't find a job in 90 days in computer science field, uh, uh, my OPT is going to expire. So that's uh, the problem. So uh, if you are a fashion designer and you find a job of uh, maybe uh, selling uh, or some products on some shop or gas station, that's not the job you need to find. You need to find a job in your related field. So if you are in computer, you will find a job in computer. If you will a uh, chemi uh, chemist, you will try to find any related job in chemistry. If you are not able to find a job in your related field in 90 days, uh, your OPT is going to be end. So you, that's the one, one of the problem um, uh, international students face. Uh, it is always a good idea when you are working on your final semester, talk, uh, start talking with employers uh, and make sure you have some employers in the line where you need to apply after your OPT. Now, once again, this is important. Uh, part uh, where uh, students has to find the job uh, so they will be once uh, you apply for your OPT you get your employer uh, you will be uh, letting your international advisor or DSO know like you got the job and uh, if there is some uh, paperwork you have to do do with them uh, thanks very much and I hope uh, this video uh, help you guys to understand what is the total duration uh, so we understand total duration for uh, STEM degrees uh, that's uh, starting 12 months plus the uh, 24 months extension uh, and uh, with the non-STEM, it is always uh, 12 months. Uh, I hope uh, uh, you all the best uh, from converting from your OPT to H1B visa. And I will see you guys in the next video.